of the 2017 NCHA non-pro futurity champion. That's Chad Buschel. Chad rode bittersweet and marked a 225. Congratulations to you, Chad. Thank you very much. Crowd were kicking up an awful lot of noise tonight during your run. How did that feel? Uh, just nothing like it. Nothing like it to have a special horse and um, just a chance to get in the finals and have some great help and have some great friends here cheering and have my family here, my mom, my dad, my boys, my wife, in-laws, um, brother, just everybody from the ranch. It's just uh, just special. Now you said it, it seemed like you needed to take a moment to process this. Seems quite significant to you, but you have one in here quite a few times before. Why is this special to you? Um, gosh, I don't know. It's just uh, I think the the longer you do this, you uh, the more you appreciate those special horses and those special wins and your special people that are with you through thick and thin and ups and downs and just I think it's just part of. Getting older, getting wiser, just being, uh, just just blessed, and been fortunate to have some great horses. Been fortunate to be surrounded by some great, great people that have helped me uh, learn this sport and learn this game. Great people helping me here tonight. Same guys that have helped me for a very, very long time, and uh, lots of great guys helped me before them. And in addition to them, and just uh, blessed to have a. Wonderful family behind me, the greatest wife you could ever imagine, and we're, uh, I mean, just just, uh, just a special special night, special week, special month, special year, just life. It all came together. Yeah, just life is special. So tell us about this run tonight. You know, I've, I've loved this mare for, oh, the past six months probably. Um, loved her all along. I've had her, you know, bought her when she was a yearling, but... Um, here the last few months I just could kind of after you do this long enough and I, I train a lot of my own horses so most of them here the last 10 or 15 years and the uh, I just kind of had the feeling that this was a really really special animal and I didn't uh, you know didn't for for once I didn't think about selling her I didn't think about having somebody else show her in the open I just saved her for me and saved her for my boys someday and for my family and so I, I just uh, tonight just wanted to go I thought I had a really special horse but I hadn't really got her shown all the way you know hadn't had just a really great run all week and so I, I just really wanted to go get her shown to the the best I could well some actually use that as a strategy you know they just do what they need to to get by through the go rounds into the semis and then really give it everything they've got in the in the final yeah, I guess I remember uh, one of my one of my favorite people and one of my mentors years ago, uh, Paul Hansma. Had, he, I still remember him telling it to me 20 years ago. But basically, you you go cut the best cows you can and you show your horse the best you can, and it what happens happens. Like you don't Come really, on, yeah, you don't really change your strategy through the rounds, through the finals. You might cut a little more cow, you might cut for a little longer, things like that. But you don't really. Uh, necessarily try any harder or do things drastically different and I'm not sure I agreed with him at the time and I maybe I questioned it but I mean that's a lot of those a lot of those things that you uh, they just they soak in after time and I'm a little hard-headed so uh, so tell us about your cows tonight did you cut the ones that you'd chosen yeah um, I've two of my favorite favorite people in life uh, Casey Green and Matt Gaines they sat and watched watch cows with me and uh, the first two cows were their two favorite picks that we had um, last cow we just kind of cut clean up top and tried to finish our run we didn't have any of our favorite cows in the in the best spots there so we tried to just come finish and be clean but first two cows were two that Casey and Matt thought a lot of and um, we had them in good spots and it just worked Okay. now uh, how did you come up with the name bittersweet because it was mainly sweet tonight not much better there. It's it's a long story. Um, a couple years ago, I had had a mare that I had raised, and I put her in the the yearling sale, um, sold her, and took the money that from selling that mare, turned around, and ten minutes later, I bought this mare in the same auction for just about the same money. So I swapped one red roan metallic cat mare that I'd raised for another red roan metallic cat mare that I hadn't raised, but I, there were some things about her I liked a little better. And, um, 
fast forward 12 months from that date and the mare that I sold, her name was Summer Shandy and they brought her back and she set the record for the highest selling two year old <laughs> to ever sell any year old sale. So it was uh, needless to say, I <clears throat> took some flack from my, my friends and felt a little uh, silly that I'd left, you know, 300 and some thousand dollars on the table. And um, so anyway, so when I, and I, of course, through the year, I've taken some heat about it, and but I, I really, if I had to do it all over again, I'd have done the same thing because this this mare's just been, just been special and um, for a long time now. So I, I just I, I thought it would be, I thought I'd end up looking smart for making the trade I did, but so bittersweet just <clears throat> here. App aptly named, yeah. and uh, the pain definitely was eased tonight, no doubt. Yeah, no, it's I'm <laughs> I'm good with it. It's. Uh, so we, you, you said there was something special about this horse about six months ago. Can you describe to us or tell us what it was that was really indicating that to you? You know, um, just hard to describe, I guess. I, I had some really nice mares this year. Um, trained a few nice mares and my boys showed as well. And this mare just, uh, there was just something about her. She had, you know, just a, a physical presence to her, a lot of... Uh, I've sold so many of my good horses here the last four or five years, and I've kind of just focused on my on my boys and youth hauling and things like that. And I've I've kind of taken a pretty distant back burner, and um, you know, kind of showed the horses that were left and things like that. Um, this mare, though, she just she had all the attributes that I've you know that you dream about, that you read about, that I've watched my my legendary friends win futurities on, and just was strong she was cowy she was good-minded she's very very sound um and you know kind of bred like so many of our great horses that are dominating the open division as well you know being out of a dual ray mare and being by of course the great metallic cat um so just just a good good animal so we might see some junior bushels winning on a oh yeah someday <laughs> Someday, someday. All right, well, congratulations and thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it very much.